history. Not just at chess or trivia, but at just about everything from mathematics and engineering to science and medicine. So what's important, Marcus says, is not whether superintelligence is what, not when super, superintelligence shows up, but what happens next. In other words, will we be prepared to deal with it? Even Ray Kurzweil, as I, you know, who I admire, but who's a, the supreme optimist of the singularity, believes that machine intelligence will surpass our ability to understand it. How exactly will that happen? How will machines get smarter than us? Here's a pretty simple theorem put out by mathematician I.J. Good in 1965. And here's a warning, this slide comes with a lot of words. I'm gonna give you time to read it though. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds. I like Good's formula, but I'd put it another way. We've already created machines that are better than humans at chess, Jeopardy, and other tasks like navigation, search, theorem proving, and, and, and more. Probably within the next decade or two, we'll create machines that are better at AI research than humans are. At that point, they'll be able to improve their capabilities very quickly. These machines will jump from roughly human-level intelligence to vastly superhuman intelligence in a matter of days, weeks, or maybe years. So how close are we to I.J. Good's big idea, software that improves itself? We have software today that observes <coughs> physics experiments and derives hypotheses and makes suggestions for further experiments. We have software that writes software. We have software that, that grades software programs, that, that judges the quality of software programs. So a software system that improves itself is within reach. An intelligent, self-aware software system that improves itself is a decade or more away. But once that self-improving software exists, it'll be able to rapidly improve its own intelligence and will share the planet with smarter than human intelligence. So that takes us back to the question, how will we get along with them? What makes us think we'll understand machines literally thousands or millions of times more intelligent than we are? Why do we assume the machines will be friendly? So far, we've been speaking a lot about, about theory, but let's look at some computers and, see, and get grounded in some, some technology. I want to talk a bit about IBM's Watson. Watson is an infant version 